Hey, I'm Megan. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I have five Dollar Tree DIYs that cost five dollars or less depending on what you have on hand. And I really do encourage you, or I like to anyways, use what I have on hand first. But it's definitely your life, so do what you want. These DIYs are geared towards 4th of July, but a lot of them can be tweaked torn apart or repurposed for other decorating seasons. Totally excited about this, so let's go ahead and get started. For the first DIY, we're using one of these wreaths. These came in a pack of two around fall time. If you don't have those, just use a willow wreath. One patriotic bow, and this bow easily comes apart ripping it with your hands. Then taking one of the star ribbons, a little bit of hot glue and you just start wrapping around the wreath no need to hot glue as you go and then you do the same thing with the striped ribbon when you're finished it'll look about like this you do add a little bit of hot glue at the end and you still have some star bow ribbon left over so you know you can do something else with that or just add it to your craft stash then these 10 and a half inch wood sticks from Walmart, definitely worth the investment of like less than $4. Cut it down to the size of your wreath and then we're making a four. So the top piece, you're gonna cut it at a diagonal so it's flush with the vertical piece. If I'm not making sense, I'm sure you can see what I'm doing. The bottom of the four will go straight across on top of the top piece. A little bit of tape and use whatever glue you have on hand. I'm using super glue because I love the stuff and just glue the two top pieces together. Then both pieces paint with whatever paint you want i'm using white chalk paint it's just my favorite it's the easiest and then write out the word july i used a pencil first and then i went back over it with a pen a little bit of hot glue on the wreath and then we're going to put our fourth of july four together and this is done super easy and super cute this is a cute wreath i'm going to put it on my mantle I also think this would be cute on a smaller door and I love that this can easily be taken apart and the wreath form can be reused because 4th of July is such a small decorating season. For the next DIY, using one of these tote bags from the Dollar Tree, cut out the print because that's what made me fall in love with this tote bag and then pick a Dollar Tree sign. I'm using this one. Trace out the sign and then cut your print down to size. Using Mod Podge, put it all over the sign. You don't even have to bother taking the sticker off if you can see, because it doesn't show up, it doesn't matter. And then you can just easily smooth this out with your hands. No need to put Mod Podge on the top. Now I actually did the front and the back of the sign because I think it'd be cute like in a door with a window. I don't know, just a preference. Then I'm using a drill to put two little holes back into my sign, but a screwdriver or scissors will work just fine. By the way, this drill was less than $20. You can get small little drills. It's great for crafting like at Target or wherever. Now I'm gonna use wire instead of the usual twine I use. Wrap it around a pencil or a pen, whatever you have handy. Scrunch it down to make like a spring. Pull it off, then attach it to both ends of your sign and stretch it to the length you want it to be. I love this as is. I just felt like it was missing something. Took a little bit of burlap ribbon I had laying around also from the Dollar Tree. Made a little simple bow, tied it with the leftover twisty tie from the first DIY, and then just used some scrap burlap to hide that and put it on the top. Now, I love the way this looks. This may be the most non-Dollar Tree looking sign I've ever made. It Definitely doesn't look like it only cost me like $2 to make. So depending on what you have on hand, two to $3, this baby's done. This DIY may be my favorite DIY ever. Pick up one of these window clings from Dollar Tree. Any type of contact paper, I'm using wood grain because I'm gonna reuse it later. Trace out the window cling. It's not like a sticker, so it's not sticky. You do have to hold it down as you're tracing. After that, just go back and cut it out. After you finish cutting it out, go back and tape the area where you made your first cut. I hope I'm making sense. If not, I'm sure you can see what I'm doing. Then using this hand towel from the Dollar Tree, cute as is, but I love the red, white, and blue print. Cut it down, and I'll use the don't flip out later. 
then using tape, tacks, whatever you have, just stretch the fabric out as flush and flat as you can on a piece of cardboard or foam board. Put down your print and make sure everything is covered up minus the United States or whatever cutout you're doing. This will work with anything. These letters from the Dollar Tree and I'm spelling out the word home. Then using this Rust-Oleum gold spray paint. I've had this on hand. I just thought it looked great with the colors, but you can use whatever spray paint you want. Spray paint over your cutout closer than you normally would while spray painting. Now they do make fabric spray paint, but to be honest with you, it just wasn't necessary for this DIY. And I already had this on hand. So this cost me no money. You know what I'm saying? Then pull it off like two minutes later, dry super fast. I'm using scrap burlap I have, but if you don't have any scrap fabric, Dollar Tree does sell pillowcases. Take a line of glue as straight as you can all the way around the edges and then just smooth it out. You do this on three sides, then flip it inside out, which is now right side out, and make sure to poke the corners out, especially if you're filling this with stuffing, which I kind of am because I'm using the filling from this old pillow I have that no longer matches my decor whatsoever. Then when I go to close it, I do the corners first. So I do both corners first and then I go back and glue the middle. I don't know. For me personally, this really helps me get the line straight. So. After that's done, let it dry. You have to, this probably, this part probably takes the longest because you have to work like little by little and hold it as you go, but totally worth it because this is for real my all time favorite Dollar Tree DIY. Like I do not think this looks like it, it comes from the Dollar Tree or is made with Dollar Tree items. And technically it's reversible. So I could flip it around, just have a burlap pillow if I wanted to. This could also be done with any shape or state. I don't know, super cute idea in my opinion. Next, one of these wood star cutouts, also from the Dollar Tree. Paint it all over on one side with chalk paint, no special technique. Then I'm taking Nutmeg Brown, the smallest dab, and I'm gonna dry brush my star in the same direction the wood grain is going. And if you notice, I'm not dipping my brush and paint. In fact, you can see the blob of paint up there. I used way too much. When you're done, it looks about like this. Then two bags of the wood branches. You actually only need about a bag and a half. Lay them out around your star and then go back and hot glue them down. And this DIY is done. It's that simple, that easy. And to be honest with you, I'm really surprised. I like this DIY so much. I'm probably gonna go back and use a stronger hold glue because I'm already thinking about Christmas DIYs. Forgive me, but can you not see this being used for Christmas? I think it's cute. And it also gives me ideas for more DIYs with these branch pieces. I feel like I'm just getting started on these babies. <laughs> then two of these house shadow boxes from the Dollar Tree. This is the larger size and medium size. Using your fingers, push the back off enough to get a screwdriver, whatever you have in there and just pull the back off. I pulled off as much paper as I could and then I made this printout and as always, when I make a printout, I link it for you for free and it's in the description for you to use as well. Trace out where your sign is gonna go and then cut it out. I'm using the smallest dabs of hot glue because to be honest with you, I am gonna repurpose these and reuse these. Fourth of July is such a small decorating season. So that's why I'm using a little bit of hot glue. You can definitely use Mod Podge if you want a more permanent hold. Put your box back together. Make sure you set it up when you're putting the back, back on so it does stay straight. And then I just had to wipe away a little bit of extra hot glue. And this is done. This land was made for you and me. And the you and me can be used year round because I think it's pretty cute. I mean, both of these could be used year round. Now, my all time favorite, like I said, was the pillow. Second would be the America sign. Third is going to be the little star cutout. Like I said, that came out way better than I expected. And if you're still here, then you are the real MVP. And I'm gonna show you a sneak peek at my next video I'm hoping to have up on Friday. Originally, I was gonna have it in this video, but this video was getting way too long. 
I can guarantee you it's not what you think it's gonna be. So this truck and these stars is a hint. Catch you next time.